Welcome to week seven of the NFL season. You know, just when I think I've got it all figured out, you know, I keep saying every week the rug is pulled out in front of me. Um, what happened to the charges? <laughs> Baltimore housed them. And um, the Buffalo Bills, I was caught talking trash before the game about how I'm never going to trust the Titans again because I lost to the Jets. And sure enough, the Bills wet the bed. <laughs> Again, because like every time I put money on the Bills, they lose. So I'm just going to go with my season bets with the Bills to win the Super Bowl and, and leave it alone. <laughs> just let them roll and get to the past weeks before I start involved again. Last week's record was eight and six. Not where I wanted to be. Now I did not come to double digits. I, I was on the doorstep and um, no. And the overall record now is 55. And 39. I need to keep boosting that. <laughs> the main thing I want to talk about this before one of my picks is um, breaking down the elite in the league because it seems like it's shifting every week. But um, that's okay because it's still the main character is still there. And um, so let's go ahead and ramble <laughs> through this. Um, the elite. We got the undefeated Arizona Cardinals. We got the one loss Rams who lost to the Cardinals. Uh, we've got the Ravens, and we've got the boys. And now, some of you are riled up because other teams are on the list, but there's more. <laughs> the almost elite. <laughs> we got the Packers. Why are they not elite? Because they haven't played anybody to impress me yet. They're a good team. I love Aaron Rodgers. Believe me, I I love Aaron Rodgers. But I want to see them play one of the big dogs and win. And then... I will call them elites, like I did with the Ravens. Um, the Bills, number two, my sinking ship. The minute I express my love for you, you fall down in front of my face, and I trip over you. Let's get it together, Bills. But I'm not worried because it's a marathon, not a sprint. Um, next up is the Titans. <laughs> they lost to the Jets. I get it. <laughs> It's only week seven, but um, the Titans, they're almost elite. They keep this up, but the problem is they're not consistent and they're injury prone. That, therefore, they are not elite. Um, next up is the Chargers. I really hope last week was a blip and you get your crap together and you win the West because I erased my Raiders bet to win the West. <laughs> but I, I still have faith with the way you guys are playing in that win streak, but I think it's only a blip in the radar. Um, last but not least, the Bucks. Why are the Bucks not elite? Brady is elite. The Bucks not elite. <laughs> I mean, if you've actually been paying attention to how the games they play, they they are winning the Patriot way by winning all these close games. But they have not been looking like the old school Patriots teams, or even the team that had that incredible run and won a Super Bowl. So therefore, they are almost elite. Yes, they beat the Cowboys, who I said are elite, but that was in week one, and the Cowboys are a much different team. Diggs has been going nuts, and I think if they played again, the Cowboys would win that game. <sighs> Last but not least, the really good, which really falls down to the state of Ohio. I got the Bungles and the Browns. Bungles play the Ravens this week. If they beat the Ravens, they get their name back, and I'll call them the Bengals. Until then, they are the Bungles. The Browns. I don't know what's going on. They're not going to win the division. They're going to get a wild card. And then maybe my Super Bowl bet will come true. So that's my story on these. So let's jump into the picks. Thursday night, we got the Broncos and the Browns. It's time for the redemption of the Browns. Um, they're going to beat the Broncos on Thursday night. I feel confident about that. Um, Sunday, 1 p.m. game, we got the Washington football team and the Packers. Uh, the Washington football team is a lost cause. I'm sorry to say it, but they're a lost cause. I'm not going to say I'm going to bet against them every week, but I have no faith in this team whatsoever. They should have beat the Chiefs. They didn't. That's the story. Um, the Washington football team is a Boston football team. Speaking of the Chiefs, we're taking on the Titans. Titans are going to take out the Chiefs and prove why they're almost elite. The Chiefs are nowhere near elite, but it'll be a quality win. Another quality win. Two quality wins in a row for the Titans. Um, Falcons and Dolphins. It's the only way it's, it's normally when I say I'm done with the Falcons, but... I'm picking them this week. I don't want to, but I will because the Dolphins are terrible. Terrible. Um, Jets and Patriots, I'm taking the Pats. Um, they, 
if you've actually been paying attention to these Patriots games against the Bucks, and then last week they almost did it again against the Cowboys. Next year, I'm going to be able to say the Patriots are back. They are looking good. The evil genius, is, its plans are working, and they are going to be with the big boys very soon. Uh, Panthers, Giants, you know, I should be done with Panthers. They have ruined my picks for weeks in a row now. But the Giants are terrible. It will probably be a close game, come down to a field goal or overtime. But I've got to go with my boys in this one. Just even spray. Even though it's in New Jersey, I'm taking my boys, the Panthers, and win that one. Um, Bungles or Ravens, you talked about this already. I'm taking the Ravens in this one. Bungles, prove me wrong. I want to see you do well. And the 4 o'clock games, Eagles and Raiders, I really hesitated on this one. But I went with the Raiders. It feels like um, the post Gruden era is going to be an average Raiders team. And I think an average team can beat the Eagles. That's right. I said it. Panthers are not an average team right now. They are garbage. Um, Lions and Rams. Um, recent memory, this was a really, 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 really close game. Or closer than it should have been. <sighs> I Rams, they're one of my other Super Bowl teams. I'm rolling with the Rams. The Rams have got to run through and they got to win the West. A lot of parts have to move for that, but I have faith in the Rams. Part of my new parlay. Um, Texas and Cardinals. I've got the Cardinals, and that one Cardinals going to roll for a while. And then the Bears and the Bucks. The Bucks going to roll for a while. They're going to have a pretty little record into the season, but they are not elite because I don't see them beating the Cowboys. I don't see them beating the Rams. I don't see them beating the Cardinals. Maybe they'll probably beat the Packers, but they've got they've got a lot of work to do to become elite again. Um, Sunday nights, the Colts and the 49ers. 49ers are done in my books, too. The Colts are rolling. I'm taking the Colts. And Monday night, the Saints are playing Geno Smith and the Seattle Seahawks. They're getting it done this week. I was a overzealous last week, but um, I think the Seahawks are going to beat up Jameis, and they're going to do it. These are my picks. They may not be your picks, but they are mine. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. King out.